I think just, uh, oh, bloody hell, look down here, cut, it's getting a bit funny there, isn't it? I think just, um, you know, a quick video, really, just because I haven't made one for a couple of months, by the looks of it. Actually, I did speak into the camera a couple of times, but, um, I don't know, just didn't really fancy publishing it. It's weird, looking back on the last couple of three videos I made, one was two months ago, one was three, generally talking about balancing out and um, it's weird looking back on them because I think oh I'll, maybe I'll share my thoughts on things and then I watch one of them videos and I'm like I'll just be saying the same thing really so um yeah well looking at it that was 12 days into lockdown and it was a couple of months ago so yeah it's been a funny old time really I've only been to work four times in that time and they were last week and the week before and I don't have any more work for well nearly a couple of weeks now really looking forward to bouncing back into things really it's a lot of time just to be sitting there and analyzing and like I say with the the balancing out I was I was doing a just with 2020 in general, it was a year that was going well and I was doing a lot of stuff. So it's um, it's difficult, I think, probably for everyone to measure how well we're really doing because this is something that hasn't happened before. It wasn't predicted, you know, it's not, it's not really a normal scenario. So, yes, um, I've definitely... Uh, I don't know, I had some periods of intensity, I think. Um, some time for reflection. Um, you know, decision I've made. This is going to be a boring, wa me waffling video, really, but at least it gets some stuff out there, doesn't it? Um, I was really just put the spiritual type books away for a bit because it's keeping me kind of stuck in the same kind of toxic energy. Oh, that, that sounds counterintuitive for these spiritual things to be toxic, but I'd been very ungrounded. I think I'd kind of really sort of squeezed that fruit for all it was worth, really. Um, and it was starting to become a little bit negative, maybe a bit more of... Um, an avoidance tactic really so one thing I've done I have restarted the Course of Miracles workbook because a lot of those first 50 lessons are really kind of undoing the ego um, definitely finding that more challenging than the first time around which is a good thing because it should be you know, getting rid of the ego, as if you want to call it that, is quite, you know, you're always going to be resisting that. Um, good lesson today, really. I can, bloody hell, this hair is just going crazy. It's just going crazy. Oh, well. Um, wow. What? I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts and um, blimey I had an hour or two full of attack thoughts really but you know you can kind of see them as a gift I suppose bring them to awareness give them up looking forward to one of my favorite lessons tomorrow I did not perceive my own best interests um, but yeah other than that I'm not looking deeply into metaphysical matters I've put those books away I've bought out books about things like uh, copywriting actually advertising business um, anatomy which is important for my business um, things that are a lot more grounded they're a lot more useful um, because yeah I <laughs> I just don't see how I could have really gone any further. Um, you know, 
I don't really see it was doing me or anyone else any good, me really getting in depth into all this metaphysics. Um, you know, I think there's something to be said for kind of embodiment of that. I think if something's for you, you know, it's going to come back and, and find you at the right time. So, I said I wasn't being led, but I guess I've been led away from things. And where that feels kind of uncomfortable is that kind of finding out about all that stuff and getting into that cost a lot of blood, sweat and tears. And it's like I went through a lot to have all this, these kind of insights. And now it feels like, well, what's the point? You know, and I can't really grasp can't really see the world in quite the same way um, yeah it's very different different difficult for me to kind of put my finger on what's different um, but yeah I guess I'm a lot more concerned with my own advancement in the physical world which is important you know um, so yeah, I'm just making this commitment to stay away from that kind of stuff and basically I think with working on the Course of Miracles workbook I'm kind of working on the essentials um, you know, that's an ego set death in itself in a way because it's giving up a story it's giving up how you saw yourself for a year or two um, kind of moving into something new so there is a death there in a way but you know I kind of just go with how I feel and that's how I'm feeling right now really um like I say being in such a long lockdown I mean I've had no income I'm kind of in a lucky position where I'm not likely to starve but it's pretty shit it's pretty shit to be moving ahead into this big new year, suddenly we're well into June and things just haven't materialised, they just haven't got started. But I know that it's like everything's being shaken up and I can, I mean, hoping and praying we don't get a second wave, but I am kind of raring to go now. Um... And I really think that as, or hope, as the year goes on, a lot of those dots are going to start to connect again a little bit, you know. Um, and we're going to kind of, you know, often when things don't look like they're going well, things are working behind the scenes to sort you out. And, um, yeah, I feel really trying to make a commitment to myself to kind of move into some happiness and away from this dark last, in a way, a couple of years, really, you know, with this whole so-called twin flame journey. It's really, this is an experience a lot of people have where even there's some very good bits and lots of insights, it's generally a very just a painful thing. And um, like I said in my last video, I've drawn a circle around that. Um, I may write an article just to express some last thoughts on that particular phenomena. And then that's it. That's done um, for a long time, really. And we'll see what the future holds.